In the end, she walked away with $7 million without any tax liabilities, which she said she was donating to two charities, the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. The ACLU, they got less than a million dollars from her. And the Children's Hospital? They got $250,000. Mitch, you better be joking. But that didn't stop Ms. Heard from telling the world that she donated everything. Because remember, she wanted nothing. And she had donated everything. The word donated. And that didn't stop her from testifying under the penalty of perjury that she had donated it. Ms. Heard tried to tell you that pledge and donate mean the same thing. I think you're stupid. She claims she hasn't given the money because she was sued. Interesting. But you heard on contested evidence that she had the money for 13 months prior to this lawsuit being commenced by Mr. Depp. She had all the money and had month after month after month to, to fulfill her pledge and actually donate the money, but she didn't. She also told you that she never fulfilled the pledge because Mr. Depp sued her for defamation. That's a blatant lie. God, hey. Yeah, I'm a bad bitch. After the divorce was finalized, when she sought to initiate an arbitration against Mr. Depp for defamation three months before the op-ed was even published and six months before Mr. Depp filed this lawsuit. Not only does this contradict Ms. Heard's excuse for not making donations, it contradicts her narrative that she just wants to move on with her life. That she just wants Mr. Depp to leave her alone. Lies. That is Ms. Heard's narrative. Lies upon lies. There and actually were all kinds of accusations uh, flying your way when you said all this and then there was a divorce settlement, you got seven million dollars. People were saying this is all about the money, but then you did something that uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU is a human rights organization. Sorry, ACLU is a prominent um, she is a bitch. Uh, organization, non-profit organization. It's heard in a lie, she tries to cover it up with more lies. When you try your best but you don't succeed. Lies. Two, I split it between the ACLU and the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles, end quote. Right? That's, that's correct. I made that statement as soon as I, I got a divorce and we reached the settlement. That's when I pledged it, right then. And you say this because you, quote, wanted nothing, end quote. That is correct. I'm about to end this man's whole career. But you hadn't donated your entire, entire $7 million dollars settlement to charity at that point, had you? That's incorrect. Sitting here today, Ms. Heard, you still haven't donated the $7 million divorce settlement to charity. Isn't that right? Now I'm panicking. It's what she deserves. Incorrect. I pledged the entirety no, of Ms. the Heard, settlement, $7 that's, million that's to question. charity, and I, f Heard, I intend to fulfill Heard, those obligations. Heard, that's not my question. I am shook. Please, what was try your to question? answer my question. Sitting here today, you have not donated the seven million dollars donated not pledged donated the seven million dollars divorce settlement to charity i use pledge and donation synonymous what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things i have ever heard with one another they but i the don't misheard i don't use it synonymously <laughs> that's how donations are paid misheard respectfully that's not my question. You had promised to donate the $7 million of your divorce settlement to charity. It was revealed at trial that you haven't done so yet. However, they played a tape where you stayed on the air that you have donated it. Oh, shit. Do you think that raised questions as to your credibility with the jury? 
I made a, a pledge, and that pledge is made over time by its nature. Let me stop you right there, brother. And when you say I donated, you know that everybody thinks that you've donated it, not that you've pledged it. So, <laughs> for the jurors sitting there... Do you think they felt like that was you getting caught in a lie? I, I don't know, because so much of the... I feel like so much of the trial was meant to cast aspersions on who I am as a human and my credibility to call me a liar in and, and every way you can. And that more. was the trial. It was a credibility contest. And that I, was it. This is another one of the examples where if you pull back and you think about it, I shouldn't have to have donated it in an in, in effort to be believed. I shouldn't have had to earmark the entirety of that in order to have... You uh, shouldn't have, but once you said you did... Right, which is where it was intended to go, to go, to go. Okay, let's move on. Ms. Heard denied alerting TMZ to the TRO filing in this courtroom. But you heard testimony from Morgan Tremaine that TMZ knew to go to the courthouse, knew what side of her face the alleged bruise was on, and that Ms. Heard would pause. It's true. She would pause for paparazzi, who got the photos that ended up splashed across newspapers and magazines. And what footage was TMZ trying to capture at the L.A. courthouse on May 27th, 2016? We were trying to capture uh, Amber leaving the courthouse and an alleged bruise on the right side of her face. What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the L.A. courthouse on May 27th, 2016? Objection, Your Honor. Uh, hearsay. The book. And foundation. What were they supposed to do? Right. She was asking for... I don't think there's a foundational I'll, I'll, I'll overrule the objection at this point. We'll see. <laughs> Go ahead, Mr. Tremaine. Can you re uh, say the question again? What was your team of paparazzi supposed to do while they were at the Los Angeles courthouse on May 27th, 2016? Their objective was to capture her leaving the courthouse and then she was going to sort of stop and turn towards the camera to display the bruise on the right side of her face, the alleged bruise. Did your team of videographers get the shot of Amber Heard? We did. He testified that at the beginning portion of the video where you set up the camera, How would that they wasn't know? included in the video that TMC received. I don't know what video TMC received. I'm talking received. about Mr. Tremaine's testimony, Ms. Heard. Let's just so focus on Mr. Tremaine. You're asking me to repeat his testimony? No, I'm asking you if you recall hearing him say those words to this jury. Yes, Under I heard his testimony. We all did. And he testified that the end of the video where you can see be seen smirking, I know you testified earlier that you haven't been smirking in this trial, but you sure were caught on camera smirking in that video. I disagree with that. Not in, was also not included in the TMZ video. Everyone can watch that video and you can determine whether you think it's funny to me or not. But imagine how tired we are. That's because the video came from you, right, Ms. Heard? Oh, shit! No, it did not. You edited that video out did the not portions, come to me. No, I mean, Heard, come from me. Ms. Heard, you edited out the portions that made you look bad before sending it to TMZ. You are very wrong about that. So that if I wanted to leak information, I could have bad. done it in a more effective way. Wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. A lot sooner and a lot more. Because I was exactly living with a mountain that, right? of this evidence. If I wanted to leak it, I could have done a lot more with it. And I, oh, you stupid. I thought you testified earlier in this trial that you didn't know how to leak things. I don't. Right. An employee of TMZ testified at court and said that TMZ was tipped off. I disagree with that. About when you were going to be going to the courthouse and on what side of your face bruises would be apparent. Did you tip off TMZ? I was going to say, you certainly didn't get tipped off by me or anyone, anyone in my... you know tip off TMZ? Why would they? No. You ask no one to do that. As I testified to before, it had nothing to do with me. Ms. Hurd admitted to you during this trial that Mr. Depp always wears big, chunky rings on every finger. According to her, he was wearing these rings when he'd slap her. Lies. Hit her. Lies. Punch her in the face. Lies. But you have not seen a, seen a single <coughs> photograph that reflects the serious injuries Ms. Heard would have sustained if this was true. Not one. Ms. Heard testified to an incident in March 2013 when Mr. Depp supposedly hit her multiple times in the face while wearing rings. And this is what her face looked like afterwards. He's a murderer! 
see each other. We see each other. Your testimony in this trial was, quote, I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Correct. You need to put your microphone on, Miss Stupid. Thank you. Objection, Your Honor. You. Improper impeachment. If she's going to ask her question, then she has to show where that was. And then I'll overrule the objection. Go ahead. Thank you. Your testimony yesterday was, quote, I don't know if I've ever known Johnny not to wear rings. Right, Miss Heard? That's what I would testify to, yes. Okay. And he was wearing rings on every finger in Australia, correct? Not all the time, not literally every single ring every single day, but he often wears rings. Not often, Miss Heard. Your words are, I've never known Johnny not to wear rings on every finger. Oh, shit. That, that is what I testified to. Okay. Miss Heard has told you that she has mountains of evidence of abuse. But there are no medical records reflecting she sustained any injuries from the abuse she claims. Ms. Hurd had medical professionals at her disposal. Dr. Kipper, Debbie Lloyd, her own nurse, Erin Filotti. And yet, there's nothing. Spill the tea, sis. That's not true. Ms. Hurd told you that Mr. Depp started abusing her right from the very beginning of her relationship, starting at the beginning of 2012. But she has repeatedly testified under oath differently to having spent a year of bliss with Mr. Depp before he ever laid a hand on her. And now, no, in this whole she has suddenly erased an entire year of magic. She wants you to believe that instead of hitting her after a year of magic, Mr. Depp was hitting her immediately. The good times she has testified to about repeatedly in the past apparently never happened. And with the good times erased, Ms. Hurd wants you to believe that she gave Mr. Depp a big knife that said, hasta la muerte, until death, to the man who supposedly would get drunk and high and beat her. It just doesn't add up. Ms. Hurd testified that after an incident in December 2015, she had she two had black, two black eyes, eyes, a broken nose, and chunks of hair missing. The assault was allegedly so violent that there was blood left all over the pillows and Mr. Depp had broken the bed frame. Pictures were taken of that bed frame. Oh, shit! And in that picture, there, there appears to be a pocket knife on the bed. And that picture fails to capture the bloody pillows. And here is what Ms. Hurd looked like on the James Corden show the next day. Indeed, you heard from Ms. Hurd's own nurse, Erin Filotti, that she saw her a day or two afterwards and could not visualize the injuries Ms. Hurd described. Ms. Hurd did take pictures of herself after this alleged incident. But are the injuries reflected in these photographs consistent? That's the question. Are they consistent with the brutal assault and serious injuries Ms. Hurd has testified to? Or are these injuries more consistent with Mr. Depp's testimony that he and Ms. Hurd bumped heads while he was trying to what restrain Ms. Hurd to keep her from attacking him? him. My dog stepped on a bee. We went to the vet. Other than Ms. Hurd's testimony, all the evidence you've seen in this trial shows that it was Ms. Hurd who attacked and grievously wounded Mr. Depp when she threw a vodka bottle at him, severing his finger. Mr. Depp told Dr. Kipper that when Dr. Kipper arrived to treat Mr. Depp's finger, you've seen the pictures of the bar area in Australia with the broken vodka bottles on the ground and trails of blood drops on the floor and a bloody tissue on the floor. You've heard from Ben King that the tip of Mr. Depp's finger was found in the same bar area. And you heard from Dr. Gilbert that the injury to Mr. Depp's finger could have been caused exactly as he described. And interestingly, you heard from Christina Sexton 
that Ms. Hurd told her that Mr. Depp injured his finger while swinging a bottle around. Not smashing a phone, as Ms. Hurd surmised in this courtroom, but swinging a bottle around. Aww. You've heard evidence from Dr. Curry and the fact witnesses at this trial that Ms. Hurd's deepest fear is one of abandonment, <laughs> being left by Mr. Depp. Mr. Depp's greatest crime in her mind, the fault she confronts him with time and time again, is that he splits. He leaves the fight, especially when Ms. Hurd gets physical. And she couldn't stand it when he did. <laughs> Ms. Hurd, I'm talking about your actions. What? This is what you would do to Mr. Depp when he would leave you. You would harangue I would, him. I would try Isn't that to, correct? You would, would harangue him. Your Honor, at least let her answer the question. Those are you. That's fine. Go ahead and answer the question. Uh, I do not think uh, I would characterize my behavior that way. I was trying to stop him from using. You were texting him incessantly. Isn't that correct, Ms. Hurd? It was imperative for my life. Ms. Hurd, it was very important to me. My question is me. much more simple. You were texting him incessantly. I would yes try or no. everything to Ms. get Hurd? a hold of him and so to stop yes. the cycle. That's a yes, right? I would try everything to stop the cycle. It was that important to me. And he's the monster for not responding to you. That's not what made him the monster. For no. needing space from you. The monster was not the guy who needed space. The not monster was who drugs. he was when he came back. Not for doing drugs, Miss Heard. Not for being violent. Just for needing space. That's when you called Mr. Depp the monster. Incorrect. Miss Heard took pictures all the time. Pictures of Mr. Depp sleeping. <laughs> Pictures of cocaine, pictures of property damage, pictures of herself. It's about me. And as an actress, she was photographed all the time. Where are the pictures of the horrific injuries Ms. Hurd describes? Ms. Hurd also took audio recordings and videos frequently. Where are the videos of Mr. Depp attacking her? Where are the audio recordings of Mr. Depp admitting to or apologizing for physical abuse? There are none. What Ms. Hurd has, and what you've seen multiple times, is a video of Mr. Depp banging some cab cabinets around in a kitchen. A video that, based on the testimony you heard from Morgan Tremaine, the former TMZ employee, Ms. Hurd seems to have sold to TMZ right before she was deposed in connection with her divorce from Mr. Depp. What the hell are we going to do now? Ms. Hurd testified about another incident just two weeks after the events in Australia, where Mr. Depp supposedly attacked Ms. Hurd and almost pushed her sister Whitney down the stairs. Whitney is the only witness that you heard from that backs up Ms. Hurd's version of events. She's it. And the only witness, other than Ms. Hurd, who claims to have seen Mr. Depp physically attack Ms. Hurd. But just like Ms. Hurd's version of the events in Australia, her testimony about the staircase incident and that of her sister Whitney's just doesn't square up with the other evidence in this trial. Their testimony is contradicted by the testimony of Travis McGivern and Debbie Lloyd, who were there that night. No, 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 no. Ms. Hurd and Whitney testified that Mr. Depp threw a Red Bull can that hit or almost hit Ms. Lloyd. Ms. Lloyd testified that never happened. And I, oh. Mr. McGivern testified that it was Ms. Hurd who threw a can at Mr. Depp. <laughs> Ms. Hurd testified that Mr. Depp threw a phone at her face, causing a visible injury. Ms. Hurd has shown you pictures she claims to show this injury. But these photographs are not to be trusted. You heard from Mr. Neumeister that like many of the photographs Ms. Hurd has presented in this case, these photos were stored in a photo editing application. And these photos show signs of manipulation. These two photographs were taken at the exact same time and have the exact same file name. But they are visually different. One shows significantly more redness on Ms. Hurd's face than the other, which doesn't show any injury at all. 
Ms. Heard testified the difference is explained by turning on a light. Yes, I did that. But there is no way Ms. Heard could have taken a picture, turned on a light, and then taken another picture with every hair in the exact same place within the same second. It's impossible. It's my opinion! Moreover, you heard from multiple witnesses, including Officer Melissa Sines, Officer Tyler Haddon, and Officer William Gatlin, Isaac Baruch, Alejandro Romero, who saw Ms. Heard on or after May 21st, and saw no injuries to her face before she showed up to that courthouse with a mark on May 27th. Lights well, can hurt sometimes, you know. Shut up, bitch! The mountain of evidence that Mr. Depp abused Ms. Heard is simply not there. What we have is a mountain of unproven allegations that are wild, over the top, and implausible. And you can't pick and choose which of these wild allegations to believe and which ones to disregard. You either believe all of it or none of it. Either Mr. Depp sexually assaulted Ms. Heard with a bottle in Australia, or Ms. Heard got up on that stand in front of all of you and made up that horrific tale of abuse. Either she's a victim of truly horrific abuse or she is a woman who is willing to say absolutely anything. Yes, 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 yes.